First you want to get some green and brown material, like this, wood shavings, perfect, um, mulch, fallen leaves, that's your brown material, so you're going to add that in there. By the way, this is on top of newspaper, so I've got this bin on top of newspaper, and then you want to add your green material, such as your um, grass clippings and veggie scraps. Eggshells can go in here, they're perfectly fine. Anything that has lived before can live again in compost. So chuck that in. And anything, you can chuck weeds. Just like this. Even with the soil, because the soil is the thing that makes the whole compost come together. Your garden soil is the most important part of the compost um, ingredients. So, chuck that in. Bigger stuff, if you want to compost bigger stuff, like um, these sort of logs, these are palm prunings, you can cut them all up. So that'll just make it compost down a bit faster or peel them. These peel away very easy, so they can be chucked in. See, and if I just break this open, you can see that's already rotted down. So that's perfect for chucking in right now. So what you want to do is kind of layer it. So you want your brown material, your green material, and so forth, all the way to about there. And then you want to add um, air. So you need air in there. Easiest way you can do it is turning it. You can use, there's heaps of different compost turners. I just use a fork. Um, and then, or something I've seen a few people do, is they get pipes and draw some holes in it and put the pipe through the center which actually helps with um, air circulation in there so so that's pretty much how you do it and you can chuck in a few more things um probably nothing with seeds so i wouldn't really suggest weeds for seeds they probably would get hot enough in here seeing this is a um plastic black one <laughs> But um, they probably would get hot in there to kill the seeds off, but eh, you never know. Um, don't put like runners of stuff like sweet potato. I've done that once, it didn't get hot enough and I had sweet potato everywhere in my garden. Um, and then when it's starting to compost down, first of all it'll be the bottom layers that compost first and slowly it'll work up. The more it works up, the more you add in. Uh, remember to water it, watering's really good and um, we'll speed it up a lot faster. So you want to keep it moist, but you don't want to keep it so wet that it's just turned into a big mud bath. So yeah, and then when it's finally done or you think it's done, you can just, with these ones, you just lift, lift it up like that and you should be able to get a wheelbarrow, a bucket, pull out all your stuff that is um, already composted down. Or you can lift the whole thing up and turn it over and get out all the stuff you want. Um, I chuck in a few different things such as old newspaper, shredded newspaper, shredded paper, but you don't want to add too much of that stuff because it will form kind of like concrete really. So um, stuff that you don't add in there is like rocks because they'll stay rocks. Anything that can break down really. So grass, clippings, leaves, um, Branches, maybe, if you maybe make a bigger bin, you could compost some big branches. I compost like little twigs and stuff like um, pigeon pea sticks, so um, branches, so they seem to be alright. And if you want to give it a real boost, um, comfrey is a really great thing to chuck in the mix. And what that does is it speeds it all up. So, um, yeah, that's how to make compost. I think I've covered everything. This is a bin that was given to me. 
Um, I've made a bunch of other things that I've composted in. I've made old tires, stacking old tires up. Um, I've done just ground composting, which I do down in the other area of the garden. I've even composted little buckets like this. So in my food scratch, then I put down some straw or wood chippings. Um, and then slowly do that and then tip it all out. So yeah. And compost is not that hard. A lot of people say it's hard to get it all right. As long as you've got air, water and green and brown material, you're pretty much set. That's so easy to do. So um, yeah. Hopefully I've inspired you to go out make your compost. Hopefully I haven't missed too much. But um, yeah. Oh, and also, it's a good idea to have it on stable ground. That way none of your nutrients run off. Now, I have got this on a bit of a slope, so it's about like that. And I've got a black stapodi at the top, and then down on the other side of the compost where I'm sitting on my bath, um, I'm going to put some comfrey plants, just to make them really accessible to the to chuck in the mix whenever I'm near it. So, thanks for watching, and like and subscribe to my other videos.